hope you've had a nice weekend. How you doing? I'm very excited because so guess what I got? Oh, some new whiteboard pens. I thought I've earned them, to be honest. I've lost my one. I'm going to use the blue one because my favourite colour is blue. Okay, let me uh, tell you what we're going to do today. It's a bit of a two-part lesson, is this. We're going to start off today and then we're going to carry on tomorrow because the sounds that we're doing, they we can get them mixed up quite a bit. Okay, so today we're going to look at some of the alternative spellings of Ua and Ua. And they come together very, very closely, so we'll do both of them. So that's Ua and Ua. So I've written down the ways that we write them, the alternative spellings, um, for you to have a look and you can write them down on your paper or on your board, okay? So here we have your, uh, and uh. Your, uh, and uh. And we are going to have a look at some words that have these sounds in. And we can decide which way they're spelt. Now, because this graphene, well, these two mainly, but that one a little bit as well they have different ways of pronouncing them so tomorrow we're going to look at the different pronunciations as well and we can tie that in so today we're using the phoneme the sounds ua ua and ua so those two are the same aren't they ua ua and ua right let's have a look let's read some words that always helps, doesn't it, when we can put it into context. So we'll start with your, and I've got some words here, and your's a bit naughty. It's a bit of a naughty sound, because sometimes when it's next to certain letters, it can change how we say them. Now we'll move on, we'll, we'll carry on with that later in today's lesson, but there is one of the words here. I wonder if you can tell me which letter has been changed to say a different sound. Okay, so read these words, sound them out and read them, and then you can tell me at the end, okay? That's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? S-ewer, s-ewer. It's not s you -er. Our naughty you -er changes the s to a sh. Sh you -er. Sure. S ek you -er. Secure. You are obscure. And what was that one? P you are pure. Well done. You'll recognise that spelling of you are, won't you? Good job. Now let's have a look at our next way. So with our you are, now we've got our ua. So we drop the y at the beginning. Okay? You are ua. Let's have a look at some words. There's, I've only got two. I struggled with this one. So it's not a very common one. So remember we're using the sound ua. Mm, ua. Mua. It's like a big a big field of grass where we could play football and things on a moor. And this one. P ua. Poor. I mean, I'm feeling sorry for somebody. Poor Miss Baldwin. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, and we've got our last one is. Ooh, it's an 
off and up and up. You might recognise that, it looks like a tricky word, doesn't it? But today we're going to pronounce it as ua. Okay, in these words. And you'll notice in these words, there is the same letter that comes before all of them, all of the ua sounds. I wonder if you can tell me what what letter comes before all of the ua sounds in these words. Tourist. Tourist. I mean, somebody who's visiting, aren't they? D e t o r d t o r. You're taking. You got. You're straying from the path, aren't you? If you're taking a detour. And last one. T o r. Tour. So you're having a look around, aren't you? If you're taking a tour, somebody's leading you and you're, you're having a look around the area, maybe in a group of people. A tour. So could you tell me what was the letter that was before all of these ua sounds? Was it a t? T ua. There's a t in front of that one. Tourist, there's a t in front of that oor. And last one, d e t oor. D t oor, there's a t in front of that one, isn't there? Well done. Okay, right. Now, I have written these. Have you written yours at the top of your whiteboard or at the top of your paper? And we are going to try and decide which spelling to use. So, what was the sound that we used this spelling for? It was you, wasn't it? What was special about this one? When we use this version of ua, what letter goes in front of it? Maybe you could write that letter there to help you remember. Be a good idea, wouldn't it? And was this one very popular? That one didn't come very common, did it? Okay, I am going to read a word out and I'd like you to put it underneath the one that you think is right, okay? Right, can you place the word pure? Pure. That was our Ua, wasn't it? You were, sorry. <laughs> well done if you got that one. Next, can you write the word poor? Poor. Poor. Done if you got that one. Next, can you write the word tour? Ooh, tour has a t at the beginning, doesn't it? Tour. The t becomes it comes before the ua sound. So which one was it? Tour. Next, could you write the word obscure? Which one will obscure go under, do you think? Obscure. Obscure. Well done. Oops. Well 
obscure. Next, can you write the word? Tourist. 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 That was a t, wasn't it? The t before the ua. Tourist. Tourist. Well done if you got that one. That was a bit of a tricky one. Next, can you write the word? Secure. 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 Well done. Next, can you write the word moor? Moor. This was the un uncommon one. Moor. Moor. Done. Next, can you write the word detour? Detour. 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 This one wasn't it? With the t detour. Oh, and last one. Can you write the word sure? Sure. Sure. Mm, what did that naughty ewer do to the first letter of that word? Sure. Well done. Do you remember it made the s sound like a shh? It's a cheeky one, isn't it? Well done. Good job. Okay. So, that was really good. I am going to write a sentence for you to read and then I, you write a sentence for me to read. Oh, I might use a different colour pen, I might use a purple. And then we're just going to talk a little bit more about that naughty ewer and how it changes some sounds in words. It's a little bit naughty. Right. I'm being a bit kind today. It's so much easier writing with pens that work. <laughs> okay, can you read this sentence? Well done. Let's read it together. The poor man got lost from the tour group. Well done if you spell all of those right. Good job. Okay, grab your pens, get your pens ready. Can you write me the sentence? I am sure that my drink is pure water. I am sure that my drink is pure water.
Have you done it? Let's check. I am sure that my drink is pure water. Good job, well done. It's got some your words in, hasn't it? Really well done. Right, I'm going to show you some more your words now. But these are some more where our your is being a bit naughty. Being a little bit of a tinker. So, I have... This word. This word says, treasure. Treasure. It doesn't say dress yeah it says treasure that naughty year is tricking the s sound and it's making it into a bit of a z sound treasure it's been a bit naughty isn't it so when you see your year with us in front of it it changes it changes the s just like in sh it changes it into a sh sound didn't it but if it's in if it's in longer words it changes it into a bit of a j sound treasure okay and this is how you write that sound z that's what it sounds like and that's how to represent it but we don't write it in the words because we've got our s and our y haven't we next how about this word what does this word say do we say picked year picked year or do we say picture might gets changed into a ch sound picture picture can you hear it picture so here we hear the ch sound so i write it like this that's my, when I put these lines here, it means it's the sound. That's what it sounds like. So we've got our zh and we've got our ch. Okay? Now I've got some words here for you to read. I've got some that end in a ch and some that end in a j. Okay? Shall we have a look? We'll do the j ones first. Okay, what does this say? Measure. Hold on. Pleasure. Exposure. Exposure. That's a long word. And, oh, we had this one as well, didn't we? Treasure, treasure. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. Oh, then I'm dropping them all. <laughs> so those are our words that end in the j sound, but it's actually a s and then the year, isn't it? Next, shall we look at our words that end in ch? There you go. Mm. Mature. mature mature you can get some mature cheese it's very strong tasting cheese mature mature oh you don't want one of these in your tire punk 
puncture. Punctures when you get a hole in your tire, isn't it? Don't want that. Moisture. Moisture. That's when it's a little bit wet. You get moisture all over your bathroom after you've had a shower, won't you? And last one. Creature. Creature. We see lots of creatures outside, don't we? When we, if we lift up the rocks in the garden, there are lots of squiggly creatures running around. <laughs> oh, and we're back to the beginning again. Well done. Okay. Right, I would like you now to write your j and your ch just at the top of your board and I'm going to show you some words and I want you to write them in the sound that you'll use when you say it when you pronounce it okay so for example if I was using the word picture I'd write it under the ch because it makes a ch sound doesn't it picture so I'll put it under the ch so I'd write it under there okay so first word is this one can you write it is it under the j or the j say it together measure it's this one isn't it well done if you wrote that one there good job Next word. Can you read it? Creature. That's the ch, isn't it? Well done. Right, we'll do two more. I'm going to have to put those down because I can't hold them off. this one puncture well done and the last one is treasure Treasure. Well done. Oh, you have done such a good job. Give yourself a high five. Scuba dive. Really good job. That's very, very tricky, isn't it? All of those different pronunciations and the different spellings. Tomorrow, we will have a further look at those pronunciations of the graphene and I'll put some games for you to play in the description and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you for all your hard work I will see you tomorrow bye bye